This is the Sunday School lesson for February the 19th in the year 2023. It's called Mount Moriah. So Abraham and Sarah have this wonderful new little boy, an only son named Isaac. He is so, so precious to them. And as he is getting big and bigger, old enough to carry the wood on his back for a sacrifice. So maybe as old as Parks or Titus or Tim, old enough to do that. Um, God says to Abraham, I want you to go up to Mount Moriah and I want you to sacrifice your son, your only son. Kill him and give him to me. Well, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. But Abraham obeyed God. And Abraham took some servants. He took a, a pot that had fire in the bottom of the pot, like burning coals. You can understand that, like charcoal coals at the end of a fire. And a big knife and a pile of wood. And they took it to the bottom of the mountain. They got to the bottom of the mountain. They left the servants behind. He put the wood on, on Isaac, his only son's back to carry it up to the top of Mount Moriah. And he carried the knife and he carried the fire pot. And as they were going up the mountain, Isaac asks one of the most important questions in the Bible. He says, Hey, Dad, we have the wood. We have the knife. We have the fire. Where is the sacrifice? What are we giving to God when we get up to the top of the mountain? And Abraham, who knew what God had asked him to do, said, God will provide for himself a sacrifice. So they got up to the top of the mountain. Abraham and Isaac took the big rocks and put them together. Abraham tied up Isaac and laid Isaac down on top of the altar. By this time, Isaac knows what's happening too, doesn't he? Abraham picks up his big knife to kill his son and to burn him as an offering to God. And as the knife is up in the air, God says from heaven, stop, Abraham, stop. Abraham got rid of the knife. He said, I was wondering who you loved more, if you loved your son more or if you loved me more. And now I know that you love me the most of all. You have passed the test. Now look over there in the weeds. See that thicket over there? In that thicket, I have a ram and it's stuck by its horns. You go get that ram and you guys sacrifice that ram on this altar instead. Very quickly, he cuts off Isaac's ropes and together they go get the ram and they put the ram on the altar and they send the ram up to heaven as a beautiful smell to God. And they are so, so grateful that God has not asked for the sacrifice of the only son. And as they hugged each other and held each other and ran back down the hill to tell the servants and then to tell mama what happened. When this whole thing happens, what they do is they Honor God for what God has done here. How he showed them a picture. Now the picture that he showed them is how much it would hurt a daddy's heart to give the only son. And how much of a sacrifice it would be for an only son to die 
for sin. It's the picture. It's the picture of Jesus. Jesus who died on the cross. God the Father who sent his only son Jesus on purpose. So Jesus could die on the cross and pay for us for our sins. And so Abraham's family, the Jewish people, always had it in the backs of their minds, always had it in the backs of their minds, that the greatest sacrifice would ever be would be giving an only son. So when Jesus died on the cross, they knew that God had given his only son. Why? Because he loves us so much. And this is the memory verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not die but have everlasting life. It comes from John 3.16. Look it up in your Bible. Memorize it today. Dear Father God, what a picture. What a picture because Abraham loved God enough that he was willing to give his only son. But you didn't really ask him to do it. Well, you asked him to do it, but you rescued him. And it shows us the picture of how much you love us that you gave us Jesus to pay for our sins. We thank you and thank you and thank you again. In Jesus' name, amen.